But what we are seeing is a definite uh, trend in the use of 3D printed firearms. These 3D printed guns might look like toys, but the deadliness is just the same. And Calgary police say it's all part of a concerning trend. These ones all function just like any other firearm. So there is no difference from the casing. Um, the parts on the upper parts, the slide and the receiver, uh, so the metal components of a 3D printed firearm, those will be the same as any other firearm. This year alone, officers have seized over 1,200 guns. 316 were related to crime. 9% of those were those 3D hand-printed guns, which amounts to about 15, a significant spike, police say, from previous years. Two Calgary men have now been arrested. These are some of the 3D guns police seized out of their two southeast homes in connection to an investigation which began in November 2020. We have laid 66 charges against two men believed to be running a firearms production and trafficking operation in Calgary. Police say it doesn't take much to construct a 3D gun, a 3D printer, filament, metal pieces, a computer, and designs that are readily available on the internet, adding yet another challenge in the fight against gun violence. Police are still piecing together just how many of the 3D guns have contributed to the high number of shootings in Calgary so far this year. 24-year-old Brandon Vincent Wagner of Calgary and 27-year-old Justin Kumar have both been arrested and have court dates in late September. In Calgary, Tiffany Goodwin, City News.